All right, everyone. My name is Momaster, and welcome back to another video. Uh, today, we updated pedestals, so a lot of my normal YouTube content uh, will not be out uh, the day after release. This is kind of going to be the, the theme going forward. If I update the mod, there's a good chance that I'll re release other content and not channel content. That's normally in effect. Uh, so if you're wondering where uh, today's episode went for the series, then... Uh, yeah, it, it'll, it'll be out later, I, I promise. All right, uh, anywho, uh, to get on with things, we updated the mod to 0.8s on April 1st. Not an April Fool's joke, just an actual update. Um, so this is a legit update. I've been working on this update for like two months, three months now, technically. Um, so this is a, a long time coming, and it, it needed to finally, finally get out of my backlog of stuff to do. Um, so we're actually here on the Patreon server. Uh, these are folks that have donated to the project to help fuel my motivation and basically pay for the, the test server. And if you yourself enjoy the mod enough to do that as well, uh, you can jump on the server with me. Uh, I usually jump on to test every other day, um, especially on a week that is a testing week. So a testing week, I'll usually jump on quite a bit to test. Um, and, uh, yeah, so the test server exists for mainly testing, but, uh, we're also going to be playing through the pack, all the mods six in survival, um, with whatever latest pedestals build that I have. Um, and so if I do any development work, uh, I'll release a build, uh, privately to anyone who has supported, and then we'll throw that up on the server and then we can all play with it. Uh, so we get to play with the latest and greatest builds before anyone else does. So uh, if you like that, or if you enjoy my YouTube content for some reason and you want to see it earlier than everyone else does, uh, you can also get those kind of premium perks uh, there through supporting. Um, so yeah, just a little shameless uh, supporting plug there. Uh, if you want to support it, feel free. If you can't or you don't want to, don't worry. You can still play with the mod, give me some feedback, and that is more than enough help. All right. Uh, so we will talk about this new 0.8s filter update. Uh, there has been some kind of major changes, um, kind of major in, in a few ways. If you're on an existing world, you might know some kind of major things that have gone on. Uh, if you're playing a new world, don't worry, you can kind of skip this video outside of like some of the content uh, that maybe you should know for, for how to interact with the mod, because some interaction stuff has actually changed. Uh, but we'll start off with the filters in this video, and I'll talk about other um, change log related uh, things in other uh, videos that come out uh, in the next couple days about this update, um, before packs start actually updating with the mod. So, uh, first thing, and the number one thing to keep in mind, You'll notice, you see a bunch of upgrades that have these red X's on them. Because we added 11 new filters, we were able to actually get rid of basically 46 um, filter-related upgrades. Um, so the restriction upgrade, the quarry upgrade, we got rid of three quarry upgrades because they were all um, some tag, some tag blacklists. Like, there's just like a lot of upgrades that were just redundant, really. Um, but you kind of needed them still because you needed a whitelist and a blacklist option generally. Um, I, got, I was able to get rid of a lot of the machine, the filtered machine upgrades, like the filtered pumps, uh, the blocked uh, relays, no need for those anymore. Um, yeah, just like 46 different upgrades get deprecated. If you are on an existing world and you have one of these upgrades, you can still right click with your upgrade tool. It'll still tell you what it is in the chat details. Uh, or in the item tooltips, so it'll still tell you it's a tag up uh, filter or something. Um, and then you need to know that you need to now replace that with the new filter system uh, equivalent. So uh, whether it be um, using another upgrade with a filter or whether it be just using a filter by itself, um, you do need to update because in the next update, um, in the next, I don't know if it's going to be in two weeks or a month, but the next update, we will completely remove those from the game, 
and um, it'll be, you'll be very sad if you if you don't update. Uh, one thing to keep in mind: it's not like it's a complete loss. Uh, you can actually melt your upgrades down back into gold bars, uh, so you can still get your gold back out of it and use that for other means. So don't worry. Uh, even though we've deprecated things, uh, you can still get your resources out. They're not gone forever. So. That's kind of nice. Uh, and that's that's a feature that's always been out. Um, that's not just something that was added recently. Something that was added recently, and I've already put out a video for this, the, uh, the, po the particle diffuser upgrade. If you want to get rid of your rain in a video, it's wonderful. Just wonderful. Let's actually grab more paper, because I'm sure it's going to rain some more uh, before we're done. So... All right. Um, what is what? Blah, 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 I can't even talk this morning. Let's jump right into what has changed. Uh, so let's talk specifically about our n eleven new upgrades: uh, the filter base and the filter swapper tool. Um, so I guess I'll talk about two other changes before we get to that. Uh, the first change is the hot swap tools. Uh, currently, the linking tool and the upgrade tool are the only two tools you can actually get recipes for. Uh, you'll notice the tag tool no longer has it, the backwards tool no longer has it, the tool filter or tool swapper doesn't have it, and the new filter swapper doesn't have it either. There's no recipes for those. And that is because you can crouch and right-click in the air, uh, or if you're not selecting a block, you can do the same thing. So if you're far enough away from a block not to select it, uh, you can actually swap between linking tool and backwards linking tool or uh, upgrade tool, tool swapper, filter swapper, and tag tool. Um, and so this has basically taken it from, instead of holding five wands in your inventory, you just need two. Uh, and so that's super helpful. Uh, the upgrade tool is the same recipe it's always been, and the linking tool is the same recipe it's always been. Um, it's just a matter of having their inventory and doing the hot swap with them as you need to. So there you go. That is um, that is the the main the main hot swap tool feature. Uh, if you're wondering how you craft one of the tools, that is how you just hot swap it from the upgrade tool or from the linking tool, one or the other. Honestly, uh, craft these two right off. If you're using the Batania die trick, you get two petals from a flower. Uh, to make two die with, and it works out perfectly. So, and your first thing into gold could be this tool as well. So, um, okay, yep. So that was the that change. The other change that we have to talk about is you'll notice we have some interaction changes. So, uh, with pedestals right now, item interaction has changed just a little bit. Oh, let's throw that back in the pedestal. Uh, item interaction change has has updated just a little bit. Uh, you can still right-click items onto a pedestal, and that will still put them on there. If you right-click again with an empty hand, it'll actually tell you how much is in the pedestal. Um, so, like in the example of a cobbled gen upgrade, you can see how much cobbles in there, uh, like the total amount. Uh, we got more fresh milk. So, there you go. Uh, just a right-click with empty hand will show you what's inside. A single left click will actually give you one item back. So it's very similar to storage drawers. If you're familiar with that for item uh, in certain ex and uh, export, uh, is you can now left click on the pedestal to try to pull an item out. If you tr you know try to break it, you will break it. But you can actually just one single left click to remove an item. Um, and this is really helpful for the item tanks. So if you have diamonds in an item tank, and you just want one instead of the whole stack. Click. Dune, one, one diamond out. Easy. All right, uh, the next bit is shift or crouch uh, left click. It will pull out the entire stack that's in the pedestal. Uh, in the case of the cobblestone upgrade, uh, it will pull out stacks of our uh, cobblestone that way. So that's kind of nice. Uh, but yeah, so that is just the interaction update when it comes to the various... Um, item interactions. There's also additional interactions if you are interacting with a pedestal with an upgrade, uh, with a filter, with an augment. There's just a whole lot of update changes to that. Um, let's swap back to creative mode real quick. We'll grab ourselves a upgrade base. If I can spell. Uh, we'll grab ourselves some, some upgrades here. Uh, maybe some filters. 
Um, I've already have, I have a few, I, have, uh, I cannot talk. Why can I not talk? Holy crap. Um, the augments. So, um, inserting augments. You can no longer right click an augment on a pedestal. It will straight up throw the entire stack in there as a display item. Uh, if you want to put an augment in, you have to actually have them on your offhand and then right click. Uh, and that will actually put the augment in there. Um, you notice it actually took one out of our inventory. And then if your offhand is empty and you try to left click it out, it won't come out. It doesn't know to give you that upgrade out. Uh, so you have to specify which augment you want in your offhand and then left click and it will actually give it back to you. So now we have our stack in one again. So there you go. Uh, all the augments are the same way. If an augment, like the speed augments, you can put up to five in the pedestal. You can, with an augment in your offhand uh, of speed to specify it, you can crouch and left click and it'll pull the whole stack of speed upgrades out instead of just one at a time. So uh, that is the interaction changes with augments. Uh, obviously, it's in line with how you pull items out. Right click to put them in, left click to pull them out. So uh, that's how interactions changed with the augments. Uh, the filter or the the filters and the upgrade bases are the same way. Uh, so if you right click an upgrade base, it'll throw it in there. If you left click, it'll take it out. Um, optionally, if you have the upgrade tool, um, if you have an upgrade in there first, and then you put the upgrade tool in your offhand, uh, you can pull it out with the upgrade tool. This same mechanic works with the filter tool. So if we have a filter in our offhand, right click to put it on. Uh, and then if we want to take it out with the filter tool, we can just left click to take it out. Or again, optionally, uh, you can put a filter in and then left click to pull it out if you have other filters in your offhand. It doesn't matter if it's the same filter or it has to be a type of filter or a type of upgrade. Uh, it can be any of each uh, or the tool itself. So just a couple of options for moving them. and. I don't know if people are going to like this or not. It's definitely going to be a new change from what it was. Uh, so I'm probably going to get a lot of people going, it doesn't work anymore. Uh, no, it still works. I just redid all of it, all of the pedestal interaction. Um, and it should be better, uh, but I am still waiting on people's feedback. So if you have feedback to give on that, please let me know what you think. And um, yeah, I guess we'll do that. Um, I might stop this video short here before we get to the, the actual filters here, but that's just the main, main changes to keep in mind of is uh, the deprecated filters. You need to swap to the new system, which I'll explain the new f uh, filter system in another video here. Uh, I'll try to release it today if possible. And then also the uh, interaction changed massively. So, um, and, the, and the tool swapping as well. There's no recipes, you can just tool swap. So, uh, yeah, there you go. That is that. Um, I think I've already shown off a video for how to get your round robin, your muffler, and your diffuser upgrades, so I don't need to go over that. Um, I guess one other thing to keep in mind, I have added a magnet enchantment, and so there's also a focus book to go along with it. Um, again, uh, this guy is more in effect for, um, like, say, the tree chopper. So if you put the magnet enchantment on the tree chopper, it'll actually suck up items in the tree chopper's area. Uh, instead of needing to have a magnet upgrade as well, the tree chopper can handle that as uh, by itself. Uh, mushroom chopper, same way. The harvester can do this as well. The quarry, the block breaker, um, the magnet already has a magnet as a main feature, so it doesn't need the upgrade or doesn't need enchantment. Um, I think those are really the only. Oh, the auto attacker as well. Uh, the auto attacker has that feature as well. Um, so you can set up those with magnet enchantments and they will actually have a like a dual function that way, which is kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, so that is just a, a quick a quick video on some things that have changed. Uh, in the next video, we will go over filters and how that will affect your world now, uh, since that is kind of the highlight of the entire update. So uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good day, have a good night, have a good afternoon. Bye-bye.